Francisco's world-famous Chinese New Year's Parade Saturday evening will bring huge crowds to the city this weekend. And it is the Year of the Dragon. As KTV's Tom Baker reports, the final touches of creation are underway along San Francisco's waterfront. The Chinese New Year's Float Assembly Barn on San Francisco Pier 54 is in full swing in anticipation of Saturday's parade, the largest Asian cultural event in North America. The 173-year-old San Francisco Chinese New Year's Parade was first held in 1851, a combination of an American-style parade and the ancient Lantern Festival born in China 2,200 years ago. The signature floats here complement the many throngs of people in the parade, attending it, as well as those watching it on air or online worldwide. To float director Stephanie Muffson of the Parade Guys and her talented team of artists, it's a labor of love. What I take very seriously is the importance of celebration, and I take very seriously the importance of like ritual and tra tradition. It's something that actually means a lot to a lot of people, and that means a lot to me. Knowing that what we're doing actually has so much meaning for so many people is really what makes this all worth it. Historians say that parades with floats date back to the 13th century Middle Ages when churches used movable wagons to carry different sceneries for pageants, especially Easter passion plays. Floats are called floats since the very first floats were on barges on London's River Thames about 700 years ago to mark the yearly appointment of a new Lord Mayor. For artists here on Pier 54, this most public of displays is actually very personal. My late grandmother was Year of the Dragon, uh, so this year is very special to me also. And I'm um, like fourth generation San Franciscan. My grandfather grew up in Chinatown, so um, I'm very excited to be part of the parade this year. Each year seems to bring more surprises and you know, more, um, it brings more joy to my heart as an artist from the Bay Area to be a part of this event at this scale. And it involves everybody coming together and celebrating. For Sarah Wizig, her dragon art is very special. I'm actually the year of the dragon, so this is particularly special to me to be able to work on this. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a very fantastic, yeah, mystical, whimsical concept. The work on these floats will continue right up until the day of the parade and well into it. The idea of it is to make sure that everything will tickle the fancy and delight of every person watching, whether there or anywhere else in the world. Tom Baker, KTVU, Fox 2 News.